China's response to the G7 price cap imposed on Russia previews its efforts to defeat similar restrictions on Beijing, the linchpin of the G7 country's price cap on Russian oil, unveiled in early December, is its conditional prohibition on access to world-class Western insurance and reinsurance firms. The price cap restricts the purchase or sale of Russian seaborne crude above an artificially low price of $60 per barrel. An insurance ban, which prohibits companies within the European Union and the G7 from providing insurance and reinsurance to suppliers of Russian crude sold above the cap, is the mechanism that enforces the $60 threshold. Proof of the insurance ban's viability as a sanctions tool is a more significance to the future of geoeconomic statecraft than the price cap it is being used to enforce. So far, the insurance ban has proved an effective means of imposing compliance with the cap, locking in a price differential between Russia's Siberian Euro crude and the global benchmark North Sea Brent crude. Companies in G7 nations control 90% of maritime insurance and reinsurance. Chinese shipowners, who have been importing an elevated share of Russian crude since the outbreak of the Russo-Ukrainian war, still rely on Western insurance providers to protect their vessels. While the price cap will help China secure Russian oil at favorable rates in the short term, Term, the prospect of a Western insurance ban, directed at China rather than Russia in a future confrontation over Taiwan, is likely to trouble Beijing. Some of the moves Beijing has undertaken this year, nominally in response to the turbulence surrounding the war in Ukraine but effectively intended to reduce Beijing's exposure to Western insurers, appear to reflect such a concern. Prohibitions on the provision of insurance have a long history. During the 18th century war of Spanish succession, Britain was a dominant naval power and the world's foremost most marine insurer. 